Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I just set up my Raspberry Pi 4 computer and I thought I'd do a book review. I've been reading this very interesting book, Free to Learn, by Peter Gray. The subtitle is Why Unleashing the Instinct to Play Will Make Our Children Happier, More Self-Reliant, and Better Students for Life. So uh, this is from the back page of the book. Uh, back cover of the book. Uh, they, here's some of the testimonials and I'll let you read through them on your own. I won't read them aloud, but the testimonials from Steven Pinker, who's very highly regarded, Stuart Brown, the founder and president of the National Institute for Play. His book is fascinating. So anyway, you can read some of these testimonials on your own. And then this is the inside flap of the book. I'll read a little bit of it. Our children spend their days being passively instructed and made to sit still and take tests, often against their will. We call this imprisonment schooling, yet wonder why kids become bored and misbehave. So that's the inside flap. This is the back flap. Peter Gray is a research professor in the Department of Psychology at Boston College. The author of Psychology, a highly regarded college textbook, he writes a popular blog called Freedom to Learn for Psychology Today. He lives in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. So I pulled out some of the most interesting quotes I could find in the book. Let's take a look at some of them. We eventually found a school for Scott that worked, a school as unlike school as you can imagine. A little later, I'll tell you about it and the worldwide education movement it has inspired. But this book is not primarily about a particular school, it's about the human nature of education. Children come into the world burning to learn and genetically programmed with extraordinary capacities for learning. They are little learning machines. You can see the writing here is very powerful and persuasive. I'll let you read this on your own. The drive to play freely is a basic biological drive. Lack of free play may not kill the physical body as would lack of food, air, or water, but it kills the spirit and it stunts mental growth. Free play is the means by which children learn to make friends, overcome their fears, solve their own problems, and generally take control of their lives. This is a book about children's natural instincts to educate themselves, about the environmental conditions required for those instincts to operate optimally and about how we as a society can provide those conditions at far less expense than what we currently spend on schools. Very interesting ideas. Reminds me of some of the thinking that's going on over in, in Scandinavia, in Denmark, in Finland, in Sweden, in Norway. One thing we know for sure about anxiety and depression is that they correlate strongly with people's sense of control or lack of control over their lives. Those who believe they are in charge of their own fate are much likely, less likely to become anxious or depressed than those who believe they are victims of circumstance beyond their control. And yet the hue and cry that we hear from pundits and politicians today is for more restrictive schooling, not less. They want more standardized tests, more homework, more supervision, longer school days, more sanctions against students. And then uh, he traces the history back to the, the Prussian uh, mandatory schools, started like in 1794, King Frederick William II, and uh, also picked up by Napoleon in France. I like the second paragraph here. The failure to acknowledge the elephant is not just Willingham's, but that of our entire culture. Everyone who has ever been to school knows that school is a prison. Almost nobody beyond school age says it. It's not polite. We all tiptoe around this truth because admitting it would make us seem cruel and would point a finger at well-intentioned people doing what they believe to be essential. How could all these nice people be sending their children to prison or working for an institution that imprisons children? And then I like this part. What is play? 
Play is a concept that fills our minds with contradictions when we try to think deeply about it. Play is serious, yet not serious, trivial, yet profound, imaginative and spontaneous, yet bound by rules. From another perspective, play is God's gift that makes life on earth worthwhile. So, that's the book. Uh, highly recommended. A 2015 book. See if your own public library has a copy. If they don't have a copy, you should ask that they buy it. Uh, and you can also buy it online. And this screencast was made using simple screen recorder, free software, on a Raspberry Pi 4 computer. It's running Linux, Raspbian Linux. It's also free software. And I attach it to my 4K monitor. Um, I tried doing this with my 4K monitor in 4K, but I ended up deciding to do this uh, in uh, 19, 20, uh, regular HD, which is um, 1920 by 1080. So um, uh, there we have it. Hope you found this book review interesting or useful. And you can see my other book reviews over here at sites.google.com slash site slash Phil Shapiro book reviews. And here's how you can contact me, my email address, my Twitter. You can see my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to support these book reviews, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. See you next time.